Thank you for joining us with another episode of No Limit Learning. Today, the wonderful leaders of Home and Leadership Academy are going to teach you how easy it is to learn about not only different types of angles, but how to measure them using a what class? What is this called? Yes. Protracted. Protracted. Very good. So, we already know about different types of angles. I can make this angle here on the board. And raise your hand if you can tell me what type of angle this is. Sapphire. Acute. Uh. C. What's the next sound? U. U. T. 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 E. 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 And there's a silent E on the end. So here's an acute angle. We know it's acute because it's cute. It's little and small. Here's the next one. Next one. J. Straight angle. Very good. All right, here's my straight angle. And let me make a B. And Whoa! Big, huge. What is it? Uh, obtuse. Obtuse. Ob. Ah, ah, ah. Ob. 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 Sounds like an O. Obtuse. S. S. And then there's another E on the end. So there's an obtuse angle. We have our straight, acute. And there's one more that I like to do. Everyone knows and loves this one. I will make it upside down. Put my little corner in there. All right. Yes, got a quiet hand. What is this? Right angle. Very good. This is a right angle. And how many degrees are in a right angle? Hannah? 90. 90 degrees. Very good. Okay, so we know about different types of angles. Now I'd like to show you how easy it is to make an angle. Leaders, what I would like for you to do is to take your protractor and make two lines. And put those lines together. Join them together. Now, I would like for everyone to look up at the board. What do we call the point where two lines come together? This little pointy part here. Yes, Ryan? Vertex. Thank you. Very good. So go ahead and make an angle. Make anything other than a right angle. No right angle. Here, come on. Let's make this a Q. I'm going to make my right angle. All right, Corey. My right angle is Okay. Here, I'll help you with yours. I how to do my right okay. angle. Okay, here. We'll take the pencil and make a line. I'm just helping you. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right, very good, Jay. You're making your own angle here. Let's make it a cute. Right. I'm going to go ahead. Very good. I made a I do. I want a cute angle. All right, very good. So we've got our acute angles. And the next thing we're going to do is take your protractor. And I want you to hold it up to your face. There's a little peephole in there. See if you can see through that peephole. Uh, you can't really do it. But now that you know where it is, take the little peephole and put it on the vertex of your angle. Put it on the vertex of your angle. Okay, Nicholas, that's enough now. Put it on the vertex of your angle. Now that you have it on the vertex, now there's a little line. There's a little line. There's a little line. There's a little line. Underneath the peephole. I want you to put that on top of your line. Put that on top of your line. So put that on top of your line. Okay. Now that you have, you take the protractor and you line. See how the hole goes on the vertex? And the line has to go on your line. And once you have that, here Hannah, let's turn yours around. Once you have that, then I want you to put your hole at the pe put your finger at the peephole and follow the other line going all the way up. 
Very good. So what number do you see right here, Sapphire? 40. 40. Very good. We also see 140 on top. But because this is a cute angle, do you think you should use the small numbers or the big numbers? Small. Small. Very good. So this angle is 40 degrees. Very good. Okay. Let's see who else has got it. Probably about 85. Okay. Very good, a journey. Now, this line has a goal on top of your line. So let's rotate this. Now let's see, is the line on top of your line? Yes, it is. Now, take your finger and follow this line up. Now that line falls between 50 and what? 60. So it's between 50 and 60. So I would say that, oh wait, it moved over. Oh, actually, it wasn't on the vertex. Now that the hole is on the vertex and the line is on your line, you can follow it up. Mine is and like four. It's between like 40 and 50. Angle, like so halfway between 40 and 50 is 45. Alrighty, so that is just an easy way to measure angles using what class? What do we call this thing? Protractor. Protractor. Very good. All right, my leaders are very smart and they know how to do a lot of things and now they know how to measure angles. That's